So in our resonance hybrids, let's first look at sulfur dioxide, SO2. Same rules. We have sulfur and we have one. Oxygen, we have two. We find oxygen on the periodic table. It has six electrons, so we get 12 electrons to build our structure from there. Sulfur is right below it, which means it's going to give us six more electrons. We add these up. We've got 12 plus 6. We get 18 electrons to build our structure. Notice there is no formal charge up here, so we don't need to add or subtract any electrons, just to help me remember. So, sulfur dioxide, we've got one sulfur, and oxygen, I'm going to put my sulfur right here. I'm going to attach an oxygen, and I'm going to attach an oxygen. So I've just used up, in my skeleton structure, two, four electrons. As I work my way around, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I get to use 18, remember, and I've used 16. So I have two more I can use. Those might as well go right here on the sulfur. I have nowhere else to put them. Okay, now I've used all my electrons. I don't have a formal charge. Um, we're going <coughs> to, excuse me, come back and revisit resonance structures if we need to. Let's check our answer real fast. You might see a bit of a problem if you've done enough of these. But let's find out. Oxygen has two, four, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This oxygen has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The sulfur has two, four, five, six. Remember, it has to have eight. And what we learned in the last part was, well, somebody's going to have to share because we only get 18 electrons. So we could say, all right, you oxygen, you're going to have to share. And that's perfectly fine, and oxygen is happy with that. And this is where we get into resonance structures. Now, if we look at our molecule, this is different, because what if we would have decided that oxygen over here needs to share? Instead, we decided it's going to share over here. We have to represent both of those possibilities, because both are going to occur when we make sulfur dioxide, or when it occurs naturally. So we go ahead and we use some arrows to show that both of these can occur, which means we've got our sulfur in the middle, and this time we're going to put our double bond going the other direction, and our single bond going where our double bond was in the last one. I'm going to put brackets around these just to make it easier to see that we're drawing two different structures here. But there's no formal charge, so not entirely necessary. Now i got to be careful how many I put in over here. I've got one, two, three, four, just like I had over there when I drew four. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six around this side. And then I've got my two here. If I go back with number six and check, all of those now have eight around them. And I've just figured out what this whole step five is about, where I need to draw resonance structures in order to represent all of the possible configurations for my sulfur dioxide.